good evening all and welcome to this next session or the next practical of the cloud management mumbai university's msc it syllabus in this practical we'll de- will be dealing about using app controller and the various task related to app controller so the various tasks we'll be looking at is a creation of a public uh, creation of a private cloud as well as the deployment of a virtual machine and service using app controller as well as the vmm console when i talk about a private cloud i need to create a private cloud a private cloud is a cloud that is running going to be running internally in my corporate network and which will be using different hyper v servers in the earlier practical we had looked about uh, creating of two hyper v servers adding them to my virtual machine manager console and we are also dealt about uh, using clustering or failover clustering to put them into a cluster now when i'm going to create a private cloud i need to go to the vm and services tab i need to uh, right click on the clouds option and select the create cloud i can give it any cloud name i can give it let's say i'm creating a cloud name cm lab cloud description can be given anything this is a basic cloud i'll then click next the host group is the host group onto which i want to deploy this cloud onto i want to deploy this onto cm lab and click next i want to assign the logical network of my gigabit if you want to add a load balancer you can add a load balancer if you have created any vip template you could select it port classification will allow um, it'll, it'll, it's going to be basically optimizing that cloud for various uh, tasks like if i have low bandwidth usage or if i'm having a lot of live migration work i can optimize my cloud for that type of bandwidth storage classification i haven't created a previous i haven't created a storage classification unit a unit in my uh, fabric so that is why it's showing me as a 0 gb capacity over here my stored vm part will be pointing to my uh, ms uh, to my svmm library if you want to specify the capacity you can untick the option over here specify the Uh, you can assign a specific to a maximum capacity for example if uh, if you are having a hyper v server that is having 8 gb ram or a 8 gb ram you can allocate maybe 2 gb ram to that uh, to this cloud to use of that hyper v server of that uh, cloud i will tick mark since i'm using hyper v i'll tick mark the hyper v option over here and i'll finally click on finish when i click on finish it'll start creation of cloud and you can see my cloud is created over there. so after my cloud has been created i need to deploy my virtual machine on top of this i can deploy virtual machine on top of this by going on top to the create virtual machine option uh, creation of a virtual machine over here in for private cloud is the same steps as which were done previously for Uh, deploying a virtual machine onto my hyper v servers i'm going to create a virtual machine with a blank virtual hard drive i'm giving it a name as cloud vm a uh, hardware profile i'm giving it hyper v capability ram let's say i'm keeping it at 128 mb for thing hard drive let's say 4 gigs dynamic and uh, the only difference between deploying a virtual machine to a hyper v server and deploying a virtual machine to a cloud is these options over here because i have now created a cloud the option to deploy the virtual machine to a private cloud is now available over here i will select it and I'll click next finally it locked me it'll give me the destination for a default placement uh, currently i'm having a better rating for hyper v02 also because of resources i have kept hyper v0 on off and i have just kept hyper v0 to on right now next 
I don't want to turn the virtual machine and I want to create it. And you can see that my virtual machine has been created. This virtual machine is part of the cloud that is CM Lab Cloud. The next part of this practical is about using app controller if i open the website and i go to the website that is hosting app controller i need to log in with my credentials when i finally log in with my credentials then i will be then given the app controller interface Please note for any of the web based interfaces of System Center, you need to have Silverlight installed on your system. If Silverlight is not installed on your system, the web page will not load. After the entire sign in process has taken place, it will then give me an overview of my entire System Center. Uh, first thing first is I need to connect my virtual machine manager server to this app controller i can do that by going into the settings pane going into connections specifying connect scvmm and i'm giving it a name and i'm specifying the name of the server on the network and I'm clicking on OK so when I click on OK the app controller will start interacting with the virtual machine manager server it'll start importing the various certificates it'll start doing the various authentication and connectivity to the SCVMM server so after the connectivity has been established my overview screen will give me much more detailed information about the various virtual machines that have been created in SCVMM the various clouds that have been created in SCVMM and more so if I go to overview right now it has already started fetching information if you see on the left hand side private cloud is telling me I'm having one virtual machine manager so hooked up over here I'm having one virtual machine manager cloud and one virtual machine that has been loaded over there After I've done my configuration of my app controller, I need to work with um, deploying of a service. If when I want to deploy a service, I need to come to the services option tab over here. And if you see there, no, I haven't deployed any services over here as, as of yet. If I click on deploy, it'll give me a new deployment screen where I need to click on configure and configure my cloud because I, when you're working with app controller you need to have a cloud and you need to have your templates pre-made in the vmm console if you do not have your templates pre-made in the vmm console they will not show up over here because i've created my cm lab cloud in my vmm console the cm lab cloud is being is being displayed over here but if you go to see when i click on select template next it will not show me any templates over here so when i want to create a template i need to use the vmm console as well uh, creation of templates for services or virtual machines both need to be done through the vmm console so if i go back into my vmm console i need to go into library when i click on library if you see left hand side there is templates window over here which is having vm templates service templates and service deployment configurations I'm working with a service hence I will create a service template uh, let's say for the sake of simplicity I will create a single machine template I will give it a name as CM lab um, let's say mail and I'll click on ok Alright, so if you go to see, I'm having a CM Lab mail service 
this is the service name this is my single tier machine where i need to configure my machine if you see left hand side i currently do not have any vm templates over here if i had any vm templates i could drag and drop the templates onto this and i could have this entire machine configured in a matter of few two or three seconds so let's say is that i will first go and create my vm template click on vm template i am going to be using a previous i'm going to be using a let's say a blank disk temp pre-created vhd file i'm giving it a name as xp deployment I will configure the various settings I will give this also 120 MB RAM because I am short on resources to use next and finally create so I have created my virtual machine template over here So my VM template has been created. So currently my XP deployment VM template is visible and my CM lab template is visible over here. I can double click on top of it. I can view the properties of the services or let's say I can open the designer of my service template. So if you see now because I have created my VM template, it is showing me the XP deployment VM template over here. I can just drag and drop this onto the system and it will do the entire pre-configure as it is uh, i can then look at different options below if you see over currently saying that i need to have at least one virtual hard drive so let's say if i double click on top of this Anytime I would like to modify the tier, I have different options on top. I can add a machine tier, I can add a load balancer, I can even add a VM network to this. Alright, so I have double click and show my properties. If I go into hardware configuration, let me just check if my hard drive is displayed. Alright, it is a 16 GB hard drive. I'll just click on OK for once and you'll see the error has gone. I'll just now click on save and validate. When I click on save and validate the entire template will be saved all right so i have my template for my service configured and I have my template for my virtual machine also configured as well i'll go into internet explorer i'll click i'll click on select a template right now it'll refresh and now show me different templates available i will go to cm lab mails i'll see that this is template is having going to be having one virtual machine that is using one cpu 120 mb of ram and having 16 gb of hard drive space i'll click on ok after i click on ok if you see where we the configure option i need to configure things for it let's say i'm creating cm lab service demo for the service name and instance let's see what is there for the instance nothing Great out, so it's default. All right. So the moment everything is configured properly over here, you will then see that the de deploy button is now available for clicking. I can click on a deploy button, and it will start doing the deployment. If you go to a jobs window, the jobs window will show you what are the current jobs being run. So if you see right now, there's a job right now which is currently in progress. If I come back to my VM console and uh, let's say if I go back into VM and services 
I'll be able to see the different services that have been created over here. If I click on a jobs window over here, I can see in depth detail about the what is happening in the background. So I know that currently an instance of the service is now being created and there are very other sub levels or sub tasks of the service creation happening in the background. Also if you see in my cloud section of CM Lab Cloud, my previously created virtual machine is displayed over here as well as it is showing a status of creating for my service and this is the service name which is automatically pre-generated so if you see what it is showing me running over here also if I go back into app controller inside app controller in the services section it will say that it is deploying the CM lab services demo meaning it's still taking place and now if I refresh it it is now showing that my service is status is okay and the virtual machine is running if I go on to overview overview will now show me that uh, there is now one virtual machine manager service running that they are different uh, there are two virtual machines out of which one virtual machine is not running one virtual machine is obviously the one which is assigned to the service over there and this is what this practical is all about we in this practical we have seen that we had first created a cloud in your VMM console after the cloud has been created we use the VMM console to deploy a virtual machine then we had looked about looked into logging into app controller using the web UI after logging in we went into the settings and we configured a connection to the virtual machine manager after the config after the connection was established we looked at deploying a service as I mentioned for deployment of a service we require a cloud to be previously created in the VMM console as well as we require a service template to be created in the VMM console to create a service template I mentioned that you need to go into library in the VMM console and create a service template after your cloud has been created after your after your service template has been created then only you can go into services use the deploy option over here to deploy the service onto your private cloud if you do like my videos especially this one please give a like or leave a comment if you feel that there's something in this practical which can be bettered by some other steps or by some other type of uh, commands please do leave a comment so i can update this video down the line Thanks.